హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ పి శ్రీలత అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఏరోనాటికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ హైదరాబాద్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ మాస్ ఫంక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ డిస్క్రీట్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సో ఆల్రెడీ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ సెషన్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ మాస్ ఫంక్షన్ ఆర్ డిస్క్రీట్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ బట్ వన్స్ అగైన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రీక్యాప్చులేట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ మాస్ ఫంక్షన్ ఆర్ పిఎంఎఫ్ ఆర్ డిస్క్రీట్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఇఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ఎ డిస్క్రీట్ ర్యాండమ్ వేరియబుల్ దెన్ ది ప్రాబబిలిటీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు పి ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎక్స్ ఈస్ సెట్ టు బి ప్రాబబిలిటీ మాస్ ఫంక్షన్ పిఎంఎఫ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో అండ్ ద సెకండ్ వన్ ఈస్ సమేషన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ so here so what is discrete random variable discrete random variable means the range of random variable is finite if range of random variable is finite then we can call it call it as discrete random variable if x is a discrete random variable then the probability function f of x equal to p of x equal to xi or p of x equal to x or p of x is said to be probability mass function so the properties are f of x greater than or equal to 0 and summation i equal to 1 to 0 to n f of x equal to 1 or we can write f of x is p of x or p of x equal to x p of x greater than or equal to 0 or summation p of x equal to 1 so these are the two properties based on these two properties we have to solve the problems first one is p of x greater than or equal to 0 p of x is means f of x f of x greater than or equal to 0 and summation f of x equal to 1 or summation p of x equal to 1 so these are the two properties so next one is problems first problem check whether the functions are probability mass functions or not so here f of x equal to x minus 2 by 2 and x equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. So here they have given that f of x equal to 1 x minus 2 by 2. So given function is f of x equal to x minus 2 by 2 and x equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. Okay. So check whether these are whether the function is probability mass function or not. So we know that the properties of probability mass function is f of first one is f of x greater than or equal to 0 and second one is summation f of x equal to 1. If we, if we, if, if it satisfies these two properties then we can say that the function is probability mass function. Okay, first check, first one. So that is f of x greater than or equal to 0. If here I am substituting x equal to 1 because here we have x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now I am substituting x equal to 1 here. So in place of x, what is our function here? f of x equal to x minus 2 by 2. Okay, so here x equal to 1. That means in place of x, we have to substitute 1. So that means 1 minus 2 by 2. So 1 minus 2 by 2, that is minus 1 by 2. That is less than 0. That is less than 0. That means that is not greater than or equal to 0. So that means it not satisfying our first condition f of x greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the function is not probability mass function because it is not satisfying our first condition. So that's why the function, what is our function f of x equal to x minus 2 by 2 is not probability mass function if it's if the function is satisfies first condition and second condition then only the function is probability mass function but here not satisfying first condition so that is 
probability f of x equal to f of x greater than or equal to 0 is not satisfying here. So, that is why that is not probability mass function. So, like that one more question is there f of x equal to x square by 28 x square by 20 f of x equal to x square by 28 for x equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay so check whether the function is probability mass function or not check whether the function is probability mass function or not so this is our question so here they have given that f of x equal to x square by 28 given that f of x equal to x square by 28 and x equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay so now check how many conditions are there for probability mass function we have only two conditions are there what are they f of x greater than or equal to 0 and second one is summation f of x equal to 1 okay so here f of x equal to x square by 28. So, substitute x equal to 0. That means f of 0 that is equal to if you substitute x equal to 0 here. So, that means 0 by something. So, that is 0. 0 by anything is 0. So, that is why f of 0 is 0. So, that is greater than sorry that is equal to 0 means it satisfies our first condition. Okay, so like that we have to, this is for x equal to 0. If you substitute x equal to 0, then we will get f of 0 is 0. That means that is equal to 0. That means it satisfies our first condition of probability mass function. Now, next take x equal to 1. If you substitute x equal to 1 in the function, so what is our function? f of x equal to x square by 8. If you substitute x equal to 1 in the function, that means f of 1 equal to 1 square by 28. f of 1 equal to 1 square by 28. That means 1 by 28. That is greater than or equal to 0. So, if x equal to 1, then it satisfies f of x greater than or equal to 0. It satisfies our first condition of probability mass function f of x greater than or equal to 0. So, next one is if x equal to 2. If we substitute x equal to 0 in our function. So, what is our function here? If we substitute if we substitute x equal to 0 in our function, what is our function? f of x equal to x square by 28. In place of x, we have to substitute 2. So, that is 2 square by 28. So, 2 square by 28 means, that means 2 square is 4, 4 by 28. So, f of 2 equal to 4 by 28. So, that is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is also satisfies our function f of x greater than or equal to 0. So, next one is if we substitute x equal to 3. If you substitute x equal to 3 in our function, what is our function x square by 28? In place of x, we have to substitute 3. Okay. So, that means 3 square by 28. So, 3 square means that is 9 by 28. So, 9 by 28 f of 3 equal to 9 by 28. So, that is greater than or equal to 0. So, that is greater than or equal to 0 means it satisfies our first condition of probability mass function. Next one. If f of x, if you, if we substitute x equal to 4, if I substitute x equal to 4, so our function is f of x equal to x square by 28. So, if I substitute x equal to 4 here, so that means in place of x, we have to substitute 4. So, that is f of 4 equal to 4 square by 28. 4 square means 16 by 28. So, 16 by 28 is always greater than or equal to 0. That means it satisfies our first condition of probability mass function f of x greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So, here 
all the conditions are satisfied so this is also greater than or equal to 0 this is also greater than or equal to 0 this is also greater than or equal to 0 this is also greater than or equal to 0 and this one is also greater than or equal to 0 so it satisfies our first condition f of x greater than or equal to 0 so next what is our second condition summation f of x equal to 1 summation means we have to substitute so here summation i equal to 0 to n f of x equal to so that means summation i equal to 0 to how many values are there up to 4 okay so f of x that means f of 1 sorry f of 0 here substitute x x i f of x i okay so substitute i equal to 0 so that means r we can write r we can write like this also so summation x equal to 0 to 4 f of x so this can be written as summation i equal to 0 to n f of x i can be written as summation x equal to 0 to 4. Why we are writing x equal to 0 to 4? Because he in the question they have given that x equal to 0 to 4. So that's why here I am writing summation x equal to 0 to 4 f of x. That means substitute x equal to 0 first. Summation x equal to next 1, next 2 plus next 3 plus f of x equal to 4 f of 4 f of 0 plus f of 1 f of uh, 2 f of 3 f of 4 so we know that f of 0 is f of 0 is 0 plus f of 1 is f of 1 is 1 by 28 f of 1 is f of 1 is 1 by 28 and f of 2 is f of 2 is 4 by 28 f of 3 is 9 by 28 9 by 28 and f of 4 is 16 by 28 if you sum all these values we will get 30 by 28 so summation f of x equal to 30 by 28 that means that is not equal to 1 that is not equal to 1. That means it should satisfy all these two conditions. Then only the function is probability mass function. Here it is not satisfying our second condition that is summation f of x equal to 1. That means the function is not probability mass function. So next one. Next problem is f of x equal to 1 by 6 for x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Check whether the function is PMF, probability mass function or not. Whether the function is probability mass function or not. So here they have given that f of x equal to 1 by 6 and x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I substitute x equal to 1, so here there is no x, right? So, constant is there. So, that's why if f of x equal to 1, that is 1 by 6. So, what are uh, what are the conditions for probability mass function? We have two properties for probability mass function. First one is f of x greater than or equal to 0. And second one is summation f of x equal to 1. Actually, we have two properties to find the probability, whether it is probability mass function or not. So, first property is f of x equal to 0. So, here I am checking first property that is f of x greater than or equal to 0. So, here f of 1 that is 1 by 6 that is greater than or equal to 0. So, for x equal to 2, here I am substituting x equal to 2. So, f of 2 equal to, here we have only constant no that is 1 by 6. That is why f of 2 equal to 1 by 6 that is also greater than or equal to 0. So, means that is also satisfies our pro probability mass function first property. Now, I am substituting x equal to 3. So, that means f of 3 equal to 1 by 6. That is also greater than or equal to 0. So, that means f of x equal to f of x greater than or equal to 0. It is satisfying our first property that is f of x greater than or equal to 0. So, next I am substituting x equal to 4. That means f of 4. f of 4 equal to 1 by 6. 
that is also greater than or equal to 0. f of 4 equal to 1 by 6 because here we have only constant there is no x term that's why no need to substitute x, x value there if I substitute x value in there only we will get 1 by 6 so that's why f of 4 equal to 1 by 6 that is also greater than or equal to 0 here also satisfying our first condition p of x f of x greater than or equal to 0 Next, if I substitute x equal to 5 in our function. So, what is our function? f of x equal to 1 by 6. If I substitute x equal to 5, f of 5, then f of 5 equal to 1 by 6. That is also greater than or equal to 0. So, that is our, what about our probability mass functions? Here, our probability mass functions are f of x greater than or equal to 0. And second one is summation f of x equal to 1. So, here now I am substituting f of x, x equal to 6. So f of 6 equal to 1 by 6. That is also greater than or equal to 0. Here also satisfying our condition, our first condition f of x greater than or equal to 0. So now we are going to check our second condition f summation f of x. So that is summation i equal to 1 0 to n f of x means summation x equal to 0 to up to 6 sorry x equal to 1 to we have 6 right so summation x equal to 1 to 6 f of x that means if x equal to substitute if x equal to 1 in the function that is f of 1 if x equal to 2 summation no so that's why f of 1 plus summation f of 2 plus if i substitute x equal to 3 that is f of 3 if i substitute x equal to 4 that is f of 4 plus if i substitute x equal to 5 that is f of 5 if i substitute f of x equal to 6 that is f of 6 so we know that f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, f of 4 and f of 5, f of 6 all are 1 by 6. 1 by 6 plus 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 1 by 6. Total we have 6. 6. 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 1 by, plus 1 by 6. That means 6 by 6. So that is 1. So, total answer is summation f of x equal to 1. So, that means it satisfies our second condition of probability mass function. So, that is summation f of x equal to 1. So, in the first, it satisfied already f of x, x, f of x greater than or equal to 0. And our second condition, summation f of x equal to 1. So, that means it satisfies all the two conditions of probability mass function. So, therefore, the function, what is our function f of x equal to 1 by 6 is probability mass function. Our function f of x equal to 1 by 6 is probability mass function. So, next question, a random variable x has the following probability mass function. So, that is x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. P of x equal to x, that is equal to k, 3k, 5k, 7k, 9k, 11k, 13k, 15k, 17k. So, find k value and second one is probability of x greater than or equal to 5. And third one is probability of x less than 4. A random variable x has the following probability form mass function so this is our probability mass function table and from that we need to find k value p of x greater than or equal to 5 p of x less than 4 p of 0 less than x less than 4 okay so given that so this is our uh, given table so from that we need to find k value so how to find k value we know that we have two properties first one is for probability mass function first one is f of x greater than greater than or equal to 0 and second property is summation f of x equal to 1. So, to find the probability of, uh, to find the k value, so to find k value we need to use summation f of x equal to 1. So, here the given probability distribution is probability mass function. So, that is why therefore summation f of x equal to 1. 
because the given function is already they have mentioned that that is probability mass function that means it satisfies these two properties so that's why so here it is satisfying these two properties means by using this one we can find k value so here i am taking the second condition of probability mass function summation f of x equal to 1 okay so what is f of x so p of x equal to xi means that is f of x so this is f of x f of x equal to p of x equal to x value so summation f of x so for finding k value summation f of x equal to 1 so that means summation f of x equal to 1 1 or we can write summation p of x equal to xi or p of x equal to x that is equal to 1 so that means p of x equal to 0 p of x equal to 1 p of x equal to 2 p of x equal to 3 p of x equal to 4 p of x equal to 5 p of x equal to 6 p of x equal to 7 p of x equal to 8 or we can write f of 0 or we can write that is uh, f of 0 plus f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 plus f of 4 plus f of 5 plus f of 6 up to f of 8 f of 7 plus f of 8 or we can write p of x equal to 0 plus p of x equal to 1 like that okay up to p of x equal to 8 so that means f of 0 means f of 0 is k f of 0 is f of 1 is 1 f of 2 is 5k f of uh, 3 is uh, 7k f of 4 is 9k so substitute f of 0 is k and f of 1 is 3k f of 2 is 5k plus f of 3 is 7k f of 4 is 9k f of 5 is 11k f of 6 is 13k f of 7 is 15k f of 8 is 17k so sum of all these elements that is equal to 81k so that is equal to 1 so from this if you sum all these values we will get 81 we will get 81k that is equal to 1 so from this we will get k equal to 1 by 81 so that all the answer is k equal to 1 by 81 so like that we need to find probability of x greater than or equal to 5 probability of x greater than or equal to 5 so here we have 5 right okay so greater than or equal to 5 means greater than means these are these values are greater values right so that means p of x equal to 6 this is p of x equal to 7 plus p of x equal to 8 and also equal to symbol is there and that means we have to take p of x equal to 5 also including 5 greater than or equal to means equal to means including 5 so 5 and greater than values so that means p of x equal to 5 p of x equal to 6 plus p of x equal to 7 p of x equal to 8 p of here we have 5 so greater than are equal to 5 means we have to take from here we have to take these four values okay so that means p of x equal to 5 plus p of x equal to 6 p of x equal to 7 plus p of x equal to 8 so p of x equal to 5 is 11 11k so p of x equal to 5 is 11k p of x equal to 6 is 13k p of x equal to 6 is 13k p of x equal to 7 is 15k p of x equal to 7 is 15k p of x equal to 8 is 17k p of x equal to 8 is 17k so sum of all these values we will get 56k so that means we know that k value is here we know that k k value is 1 by 81 so that's why the answer is 56 by 81 so next we need to find third question is probability of x less than 4 so x less than 4 means so here we have 
x less than here we have 4 right so less than 4 means these values that means p of x equal to 0 plus p of x equal to 1 plus p of x equal to 2 plus p of x equal to 3 okay so excluding 4 because equal to symbol is not there so that's why that is p of x equal to 0 plus p of x equal to 1 plus p of x equal to 2 plus p of x equal to 3. So, but we know that p of x equal to 0 is k and p of x equal to 1 is 3k, p of x equal to 2 is 5k, p of x equal to 3 is 7k. So, p of x equal to 0 is k, p of x equal to 1 is 3k, p of x equal to 2 is 5k, p of x equal to 3 is 7k. So, sum all these values, we will get 16k, but we know that k equal to 1 by 81. So, from that we will get 16 by 81. And the last one is prob find p of probability of 0 less than x less than 4. 0 less than x less than 4. So, that means 0 less than x less than 4. 4 means here we have 0 and here we have 4. So, excluding 0 and 4, we have to take only 1, 2, 3. So, means probability of 0 less than x less than 4 means we have to take p of x equal to 1 plus p of x equal to 2 plus p of x equal to p of x equal to 3. We have to take only these three values excluding 0 and 4. Okay. So, p of x equal to 1 is 3k, p of x equal to 2 is 5k, p of x equal to 3 is 7k. So, p of x equal to p of 0 less than x less than 4 means in between we have in between we have only three values. So, those are p of x equal to 1, p of x equal to plus p of x equal to 2 plus p of x equal to 3. So, for p of x equal to 1, we have 3k in the equation. So, for, in, for p of x equal to 2, we have 5k. For p of x equal to 3, we have 7k. So, sum all these values, we will get 15k. But, we know that k equal to 1 by 81. So, that's why the answer is 15 by 81. And the next problem is a random variable x has the following probability mass function. Probability mass function x equal to. So, this is our question. Okay. So, from this we need to find k value and p of x less than 5, p of x greater than or equal to 5, greater than or equal to 5. So, probability of x greater than or equal to 5. We need to find k value, p of x less than 5, p of x greater than or equal to 5. Okay. So, we know that how to find k value. If it is a probability mass function, we have two properties, right? So, first one is f of x greater than or equal to 0 and second one is Summation f of x equal to 1. So, summation f of x equal to 1 means summation of p of x equal to 1. So, for that by using the first property summation f of x equal to 1. So, that means we have to sum all the random variable values. So, that means f of 0 plus f of 1 or f of 2, f of 3 plus f of 4 plus f of 5 plus f of 5. 6 or we can written as like this also that is p of x equal to 0 plus p of x equal to 1 plus p of x equal to 2 plus p of x equal to 3 plus p of x equal to 4 plus p of x equal to 5 plus p of x equal to x equal to 6 okay so now substitute x equal to 0 is p of x equal to 0 is 0 and p of x equal to 1 is k and p of x equal to 2 is 2k p of x equal to 3 is 2k p of x equal to 4 is 3k and p of x equal to 5 is k square and p of x equal to 6 is 7k square plus k that is equal to 
वन दट इज इक्वल टू वन सो सिंप्लीफाई दिस वन वी विल गेट के वैल्यू इज वन का मा माइनस वन बाय एट सो बट हियर आई एम टेकिंग द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ओके सो रैंडम फॉर रैंडम वेरिएबल वी हैव टू टेक ओनली पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो दैट्स व्हाई वी हियर आई एम टेकिंग के वैल्यू इज वन सो नेक्स्ट वन इज वी नीड टू फाइंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन फाइव सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन फाइव सो हियर वी हैव फाइव राइट so less than 5 means these are less than 5 values okay so excluding 5 we have to take all the values that means p of x equal to 0 we have to take plus p of x equal to 1 plus p of x equal to 2 plus p of x equal to 3 plus p of x equal to 4 so that is p of x less than 5 means p of x equal to 0 plus p of x equal to 1 plus p of x equal to 2 Plus p of x equal to three plus p of x equal to four. We know that p of x equal to zero is zero. P of x equal to one is k, and p of x equal to zero is zero, and p of x equal to one is k. P of x equal to two is two k. P of x equal to three is two k. P p of x equal to four is also three k. So that's why. So zero plus k plus two uh, k. Plus two k plus three k, so that is eight uh, uh, k. So we know that k value is one. Already we have solved here. That is k value is one. So substitute k value is here. So then we will get answer is eight. So next one is we are going to find probability of x greater than or equal to five. So probability of probability of x greater than or equal to 5 so that means probability of x greater than or equal to 5 means so this is here we have 5 right so here we have 5 so greater than and equal to so this is greater than value and we have to take 5 also equal to is there okay so that's why probability of so probability of x greater than or equal to 5 means probability of x equal to 5 Plus probability of x equal to six. Probability of x equal to five plus probability of x equal to six. But we know that probability of x equal to five is k square, and probability of x uh, x equal to six is seven k square plus k. So this is k square plus, and this is probability of x equal to six is seven k square plus k. So if you simplify this one. You will get answer is nine. So why we are getting answer is nine because k value is here one. Okay, so that is uh, if you simplify this one, we will get eight k square plus k. So if you substitute k equal to one here, so we will get so this is eight into one square plus one. So that is eight plus one that is nine. So the total answer is nine. So therefore, probability of p of x greater than or equal to five is nine. Okay. So here we have some exercise problems. First one: five defective balls are accidentally mixed with twenty good ones. Find the probability distribution of number of defective balls. If four balls are drawn at random from this a lot, this lot, sorry, this bolt. From this bolt, okay. So next question is, if three cars are selected from a selected from a lot of cars, selected from a from cars, if three cars are selected from a lot of cars containing two defective cars, find the probability distribution of the number of defective cars, okay. so by using this one we can find the probability distribution table okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates